Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel Learn Math with Mr. Saad for another video lesson. Today's lesson for grade 5, chapter 8, lesson 6. Compare fractions. Okay, in this lesson we are going to compare two fractions like here, 2 over 3 and 5 over 6. Okay, keep this thing in mind guys. We cannot compare the fractions until we make the denominators same. Okay. How we make them same? First of all, we have to find out the LCM of the denominators. What are the denominators? 3 and 6. 3 and 6. Okay. We'll find their LCM and we found that the least common multiple of 3 and 6 is 6. Now we will change our denominators into 6. If you see the second one, this is already 6. We have to change only 1 here. So what do we multiply with 3 to get 6? 2. Here it is. And you know that uh, because we will follow the rule of equivalent fraction, so whatever we multiply down, we have to multiply the same number up. So we multiply by 2 down and multiply by 2 up to get the denominator 6. Why 6? Because the LCM of 3 and 6 of the denominators is 6. So we will change our denominators according to the LCM. Okay. Now once we multiply our first fraction by 2, it becomes 4 over 6. The second fraction is already 5 over 6. So we know that 5 over 6 is greater than 4 over 6. Similarly here guys, uh, now 3 over 5 and 1 over 2. So first of all, we'll make the denominator same. To make the denominator same, we have to find the LCM of the denominators 5 and 2. Write the multiples of 5, multiples of 2, and choose the least common one. The least common multiple of 5 and 2 is 10. Now, how can we make this denominator 10? 5 times 2 is 10. So we multiply this fraction by 2. And how can we make this denominator 10? Keep this thing in mind, guys. Why we are converting the denominators into 10? Because the LCM is 10. And how can we convert this denominator into 10? So 2 times 5 is 10. So we'll multiply this whole fraction by 5. We cannot only multiply by denominator. We have to multiply the same number up and down to find the equivalent fractions with the denominator of 10. Why denominator of 10? Because the LCM of 2 and 5 is 10. Okay, so we find that after multiplication we get 6 over 10 and 5 over 10 and you know that 6 over 10 is greater means 3 over 5 is greater. Here guys again define the LCM of 5 and 3 which become 15. So we multiply 5 by 3 to get 15, so multiply this fraction by 3. And 3 by 5 to get 15, so multiply this fraction by 5. 3 over 15 and 5 over 15, of course, 5 over 15 is greater, so 1 over 3 is greater. Okay, here. You have to use the same way, okay? Make the denominator same, or there is another way, guys, an easy way. I'm going to tell you. We call it cross multiplication or butterfly rule, okay? You multiply them cross 3 by 8 equals 24. Write it above the numerator you are multiplying, okay? No, don't write it above the 8. 3 times 8, 24. And 4 times 7, 3 times 8, sorry, 24. And 4 times 7, 28. Now, which one is greater, 24 or 28? 28 is greater. So it means 7 over 8 is greater. Similarly here, 2 times 10, 20. Where I write 20, guys? Above the 2, above the numerator, which we choose to multiply first. 2 times 10, 20. And 7 times 3, 21. So... 21 is greater than 20. Got it, guys? In this way. So you can use this way. We call it cross multiplication or butterfly rule. 
or you can use the method I told you on the first two pages and solve all these questions in independent practice. And also these three questions. Here you have to find out the unknown numbers. Okay, here, now guys, see this. Here you can't use the butterfly rule because you have to compare more than two fractions. When you're comparing only two fractions, then you can use that rule. Like here we used 5 times 3, 15, 8 times 2, 16, and 16 is greater, so floor. But when you have more than two fractions, like here four fractions, then you have to make the denominator the same. Here we find the LCM of all the denominators, 5, 8, 4, and 10, which is 40. And then we multiply 8 with 5 to get 40, 8 with, uh, with 5 to get 40, 4 times 10, 40, and 10 times 4, 40. And then we came to know that 30 over 40, which is Keisha, is the greatest one. A trail mix has 1 over 2 cup of raisins and 2 third cup of peanuts. This is half. 2 third, it is more than half. So, peanuts are more. Jenny multiplies the numerator of fraction by m and denominator of the fraction by p. For example, if the fraction is 2 over 3, she multiplies the numerator with m and denominator with p. And we know that both must be equal number. We must multiply the same number up and down. So m equals to p equal to. And here are some explanation. I hope you guys understand the lesson. If you really understand, don't forget to like this video and subscribe my channel. Learn math with Mr. Sal. Thank you so much, guys. Have a nice day.